Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is our fourth lesson in our series, Salt for Beginners. The purpose of this series is to answer some introductory questions before we can then delve into some classical texts that have been authored on the subject of a salt. Remember we said that they, remember we said that we are going to discuss the tasarif and muttarida. Alright, we're gonna take the Mali, the Mulare, the Amr, the Ism Fa'i, the Ism Mafur, and we're gonna conjugate them based on the masculine, feminine, first person, second person, third person, single, singular, dual and plural. Good. We start at the Fairul Amr. When it comes to the Fairul Amr, the imperative tense respective. We spoke about when we have Lamul Amr attaching one to a fair mubara in the previous lesson. In this lesson, we're going to speak about the next type of fair Amr, or the next type of Amr, which is Al Amr Bissigah. And the Amr Bissigah only occurs on the Mukhatab form, because you can't command yourself, right? And you can't command someone who is absent. You only command someone who is what? Present in front of you. Ijlis, Ijlis Anta, you sit. Idrib, meaning you hit. So, and so, Al-Amr Bissigah only revolves around the Mukhad. And again, we can divide it into two, Mudakkar Mu'annath, and then the three forms, Jam'u Muthanna Mufrad, and Jam'u Muthanna Mufrad. As you can see, the color scheme, the Muthanna for the Mu'annath Mukhatab, and the Mudakkar Mukhatab have the same form. Let's take an example, Idrib. The Mudakkar Mukhatab for Idrib is Idrib. The Muthanna is Idriba. The Jam'u is Idribu. As for the Mu'annath, Idribi is the Mufrad. Idriba, like the Mudakkar Mukhatab. And then Idribna, that is the Mu'annath Mukhatab of the Jama'a. So that is with regards to <coughs> the imperative tense. For the example, Mathan, Ijlis, Ijlisa, Ijlisu, Ijlisi, Ijlisa, Ijlisna. Another example, Mathan, Uqtul, Uqtula, Uqtulu, Uqtuli, Uqtula, and Uqtulna. Another example, Izhal, Izhava, Izhabu, Izhavi, Izhava, Izhabna. Good. Wa'ala dhalika, Qis. Tayyib. The next question is the Ismul Fa'il. What about the active participle noun? We defined Ismul Fa'il in the previous lesson. We're talking about the person who committed the action. Ismul Fa'il. We're describing the person who committed the action. Qatala, Qatilun. The one who did the act of killing we call Qatil. طيب. When it comes to the Ism al Fa'il, we divide it into two types. Ism al Fa'il is derived from a Thulathi Mujarrat, meaning a triliteral root. Right? A triliteral root that is what? Uh, free from any extra letters. That's why we said Mujarrat, meaning a word that has a triliteral letter root and this root contains no extra letters. Remember, we're going to see, inshallah, in a more detailed works that the afal can be divided into thulathi or wabai, and the thulathi can be divided into thulathi mujarrad and mazid fi. We're going to see it, inshallah, in its place. We're talking about the thulathi mujarrad, like within the dharaba. Dharaba is the root of it is what? Dharaba. There's no extra letter, it's only three. Good. In this case, and in cases like that, and there are six. Chapters of Al Musar devoted to Al Thulathi Al Mujarrad. In all these six cases, you make the Ism Al Fa'il upon the form of Fa'il. Ala wazni Fa'il. This wasn't here. So you say Qatala, Qatilun. Dharaba, Dharibun. Samia, Samiun. Kataba, Katibun. You see? Hasiba Hasibun Hina Dahala Dahilun. You see? So the Ismul Fail, when it is in the case of the Thulathi al Mujarrat, it's upon the form, upon the pattern of Fail, Fa'ala, Fa'ilun. Good. Any other any other type meaning whether it be a rubai mujarrad rubai mazid fi thulathi mazid fi which is here fi ghayri thulathi mujarrad then <coughs> what we do is we take the mudari number one we take the mudari once we take this mudari we convert it we perform what tahweel we convert it how number one 
إبدال حرف المضارعة ميما مضمومة We change the حرف المضارعة whether be the همزة the نون the ياء or the تاء into a ميم that carries a ضمة and we give the penultimate letter a كسرة كسرة ما قبل آخره and we give the penultimate letter a كسرة مثلا دحرجة دحرجة is a فعل رباعي مجرد What I do with this word دحرجة is I make it in the مضارع form it becomes يدحرج دحرجة يدحرج I then take this يدحرج I convert the ya into a mean مضمومة it becomes مدح and the last letter or the, the, the penultimate letter the letter before the last letter I give it a كسرة so it becomes مدحرج دحرجة يدحرج مدحرج that's how it becomes مثلا قاتل قاتل I convert it to the مضارع form this is a فعل ثلاثي نزيد فيه good قاتل <coughs> the مضارع form becomes يقاتل so I do that convert the ya into a ميم مضمومة it becomes مقا and then the last the letter before last I give it a كسرة مقاتل the penultimate letter I give it a كسرة مقاتل you see so when it comes to اسم الفاعل in the ثلاثي مجرد we take the فعل الثلاثي مجرد and we put it upon the form of فاعل ضرب ضارب قتل قاتل سمع سامع إلى آخره if it's a غير ثلاثي مجرد meaning the, the, the root of this fail is a is not a thulathi mujarrad then we take the mudari form of that word and we convert it by removing the half mudari and replacing it with the mean mudmuma and the penultimate letter giving, giving a kasra good the final question in this series is ismu al mafrul the passive participle noun how do we deal with this again again the same division as the previous active participle noun we again we divide the ismu al fa'il ismu al mafrul i should say into a ثلاثي مجرد and ثلاثي غير مجرد uh, sorry غير الثلاثي مجرد well, في غير الثلاثي المجرد in the ثلاثي المجرد case the وزن changes from فاعل to مفعول مفعول so it becomes ضرب مضروب remember he was talking about but in the passive part this is المفعول we're describing the one whom the action was done upon مضروب ضرب مضروب نصر منصور سمع مسموع طيب على وزن مفعول okay. كتب مكتوب good as for the غير الثلاثي المجرد then we follow the same steps as we did in the uh, اسم الفاعل by taking the مضارع and converting it by removing the حرف المضارعة and replacing it with a meme that's got a on it and then instead of doing a كسر upon the penultimate letter this time we do a what فتح ما قبل آخره we do a فتحة on the penultimate letter. So, مثلا, دحرجة. We say دحرجة, convert to the مضارع, becomes يدحرج. And then with that فعل مضارع of يدحرج, we convert the ياء into a meme, it becomes مدح. And then فتح ما قبل آخره. We do a فتحة on the penultimate letter, not a كسرة, so it becomes مدحرج. مدحرج. قاتل, يقاتل, becomes مقاتل. Not, يقا, not, not مقاتل, مقاتل اسم فاعل. مقاتل is what the is المفعول good now so here we have the case of the اسم المفعول when it is in the ثلاثي when the root is a ثلاثي مجرد then you put it upon the وزن of the form of مفعول نصر منصور ضرب مضروب إلى آخره and in the case of غير الثلاثي المجرد you convert you convert that root into the, its مضارع form and then that مضارع form you remove the half of and replace it with a mean مضمومه and you give a fatha on the penultimate letter. So all of that now uh, once you understand this you can then also incorporate now the uh, the conjugations right مثلا مضروب if you have مضروب you can make it into the singular uh, dual uh, plural form as well right good you can apply that so that same uh, that same uh, pattern as well good so when it comes to the ism and fa'il ism maf'ul we separate the thulathi mujarad and the ghayr thulathi mujarad in the thulathi mujarad in ism fa'il we put it on the form of fa'il and in ism maf'ul we put it on the form of maf'ul and in the case of the ghayr thulathi mujarad you take the mudari form of that ghayr thulathi mujarad 
remove the ya, replace it with a mim, uh, and the letter that comes before last, the penultimate letter, either give it a fatha in the case of the ism maf'ul or a kasra in the case of the ism al fa'il. And then whatever conjugation that's needed in terms of singularity, duality, plurality, masculinity, femininity, you can apply it on these words in the same manner that we have taken previously. And with that, we're able to conclude this series. As these are the main questions that we wanted to answer, Alhamdulillah, we've answered them. Hada wallahu alam, subhanakallahum wa bihamdik, shadu an la ilahi illa ant, astaghfiruka wa atubu ilaykum, assalamu alaykum, rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.